Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leo and this is Lion's Lane, where I post all of the art things that I like to do on a daily basis. Uh, this month's focus is on the Fly in July Art Challenge, a challenge I made up myself. If you guys are new here and you're curious as to what the heck I'm talking about, go check out the playlist down in the description below. That first video, I kind of talk about it in more detail, what's going on with that. But So the prompt for today was transformation. Um, I had this idea from the fruity prompt the other day that I ended up not using, and it's basically this mage or warlock um, turning these fruits and animals into amalg an amalgamation of each other. Um, so I thought it was a neat idea, and I will let you guys watch this time lapse, and I will pop in when I feel like it's necessary. I decided to do another up angle for the face. I've really been wanting to practice those. They look cool, and I think if you can really master them, they become easier and easier to do. Um, which is another thing that I noticed doing this piece, that the hands came out easier, the wings came out a lot quicker, so I'm definitely making progress by doing this art challenge. And one other thing I wanted to point out is that um, I did a completely different art style for this piece, um, where the shadows, I'm doing the shadows as part of the line art before I even color anything and in my head I guess I was kind of seeing it as like a really old school comic book graphic style like but more literally unlike my last piece where the shadows are just black and then you know the colors kind of play off of that so I kind of liked how it turned out it, it's definitely not something I'm used to doing but it was really fun to do um, so I might try it again in the future, but you guys let me know what you think about this art style. Um, I'm really curious. And yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. This pencil I'm using is called the Fat Pencil. I believe it's native to Procreate already, but it might be a Mike Henry brush. I cannot remember. Uh, when I figure it out, I will put that information in the description below. But I really like it because it almost has a like a Conti crayon or like charcoal um, look to it, but it feels very smooth like a crayon or um, just like if you were using a very soft pencil. So I really like using it and it's a bit more precise than if you're using charcoal or anything like that. So. I had a lot of fun designing this outfit for this mage. Um, it was just very, very interesting, the, the shape of the lines and stuff. Simple, but I liked it. Yeah, going in and adding these shadows was so, so fun. Because I'm used to having to color everything first and, you know, really be meticulous about where I put my shading. But doing it this way was, there was something very flowing and free about it. So I really had a lot of fun. I think I went a little too heavy as far as like the fruits and stuff were concerned. But I still think it turned out pretty good in the end. I ended up making this apple a lot smaller um, because I didn't like how it was kind of the same size as the orange. 
A good rule of thumb for a good composition of a piece is to make sure you have varying sh shapes and sizes of things to kind of bring balance to the piece. Um, there's one in particular that I like to call the rule of thirds. Um, not anything I invented, people have been talking about this for a long time, but it's very useful in creating good, interesting compositions. So I made the apple a little smaller and the strawberry as well, and then the orange is the bigger center point of the piece. And if you guys would like any videos about me talking about composition or character design or things like that, please let me know. I'm going to need lots of videos to make after this challenge is over, so I am open to all sorts of suggestions. So for the colors, I, I made the fruit just normal fruit colors, um, but then I wanted the energy to be this really bright, like radioactive green. And then for the robe, I ended up going with like purples and magentas and pinky colors, which I thought was a nice compliment to one another. Now I wanted to make these parts glow, so what I ended up doing is using an add layer and a color dodge layer. Um, and then I duplicate those layers and use the Gaussian Blur uh, layer effect to give them that glowing look. Which I think I got a little bit of ahead of myself, but uh, that's okay. I think we're doing it right now. And it gives that kind of glow effect. I did make a mistake here where I filled in these colors on the same layer as the line art for the upper part of the portion, or uh, upper part of the piece. Um, I was in a hurry. I took a nap today and slept for way longer than I thought, so I didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> but uh, you live and you learn. It is what it is. I did what I could with what I had. So I still think the piece turned out pretty cool. So here I'm just messing around with the layer modes again, trying to see if I can make them look any more green as far as the line art is concerned, but I instead ended up going over it softly with like a bright green airbrush effect and then just erasing out some of the parts in the middle so that it wasn't too overwhelming. But yeah, I'm just adding in some highlights here. And then I think the final thing I do is add some color to the robe and then work on the background. So this piece is pretty much finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a shorter one. Um, it's definitely a totally different style than what you're used to seeing, what I'm used to doing, but I really had a lot of fun doing it. If you guys like it, let me know. I might try some more things with it in, with it in the future. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the views I've been getting and every single subscriber. I'm so, so grateful to you guys for chiming in to see what I'm, what's going on here. Um, if you want to stay updated, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and leave any comments down below telling me what you want to see in the future, kind of uh, what you thought about this piece, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.